Welcome, welcome back to Sahara TV. My name is Rudolf Okonkwo. This is our continuation of the analysis of the Anambra State election that happened last Saturday and the next uh, supplementary election happening next Saturday. And now we're happy that we have uh, Mr. Olista Meto, who is the spokesperson for the PDP, joining us from Abuja. Mr. Meto, welcome to Sahara TV. Thank you, Rudolf. Let me start by asking you, because there are conflicting reports out there. You are part of the PDP. Uh, are you, you people accepting the result of this election so far announced, or are you insisting that there should be a cancellation of the election? Well, our, our position on Anambra is very uh, precise, very clear. And it is the position of the National Working Committee. It is not the position of any individual uh, based on sentiment. Uh, the National Working Committee, having reviewed the exercise, put up a statement and was attributed to the National Working Committee, wherein we made it clear that uh, we, we commended the President and the Security Office operatives for creating the enabling environment for, a, 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 a conduct, for the conduct of a peaceful, free, and fair elections. Now, for creating the enabling environment, we commended them because people did not lose, there was no loss of life, one. Two, they were able to intercept the, 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 the plans of uh, the APC to cause mayhem in Anambra, and disturbances and violence in Anambra. They were able to, like they arrested 152 people who they are taken to court already, and other things that they did, the security that they put in place. We, 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 we did not really make any comments on the conduct of the election in terms of it. Because the Zainek and the Afga, who is the leading party that we felt that can talk about it. But your candidate, uh, but your the candidate was at a press conference with Ngige and the Labour Party candidate saying that they want a cancellation of this election. Are you saying that the working, well, working committee well, is, is not the, working the with the candidates? The, the National Working Committee has decided that whatever it is to do with the election, uh, we have not seen any reason to call for cancellation of the uh, So you the, disagree with your candidates that the election we, should we, be... We have decided that uh, the, 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 the statement that we put out is that we will participate in supplementary election. But that was before I next ever made this speaking yesterday. Yeah. Our candidate, Comrade Tony Moye, who has been a former national state chairman and who did very well in the uh, uh, election, we were quite impressed. We put up a good show. As we have not been briefed by a candidate. But he's been talking uh, to the media. He's been, he's been talking to the media. The media but there's, a, there's, a, there's an official line of communication. You have the state party, you have the zonal party, and you have the national party. Mm. You have uh, 12 people in the National Working Committee, including the chairman of the party. You have the leader of the party in Nigeria, leader of the PDP, who is the president. Mm. And you have the chairman of PDP governor's forum. So there is a, there's an official line of communication. Mm -hmm. We will not react to things that we read on the pages of news or things that we... Okay. Now, that, Mr. Metu, let me ask you. That he said, mm. having been a national chairman, is a very... Is a very, very responsible, respectable party man. Mm. So, he's no, no very, I, I understand. very committed to this party. So I don't think he will go ahead to make statements uh, without... Uh, or in conflict or without consultations with the party. Yeah. It's not the other way around. Yeah, it's so Ms. Ms. Metu, you are, you are the spokesman of the party. Have you been able to talk to uh, Tony Nwoye, the candidate for, uh, in Nanambra State? Have you talked yes, to him? I spoke with our candidate on Sunday after the election. I spoke with him on Monday as well. As a matter of fact, when we were in the National Working Committee taking the decision, we, put, we called the uh, Tony Nwoye and the National Chairman spoke with him directly. Mm. And they had uh, they had a discussion for a long time. Did they agree on what should be the line of action? Well, yeah, the national chairman told him would be a decision and why we've taken a decision. Okay, Let, yes, let's. I can confirm. I can confirm that yes, the national chairman told him personally. Yeah. Our decision and the reason for our decision. Mm. Uh, why I'm making this clear is that uh, I have seen uh, some people who came to be speaking for to move a campaign organization. I'm quite sure that they, they, he's not aware of them. Mm. Anyway, when I called him, he said he's not aware of what they're saying, I, I, and he didn't give them any authority to say I don't know those people. I have never met them in Ananda PDP. Mm. I have been in politics. I, have, I don't know who they are. I don't know the characters. 
that claims to be there. But I think they just want to cause some. Maybe they are being sponsored by APC to cause disaffection mm. amongst the people. Mm. The idea is to discredit the election, the electoral process, not even the Anambra election. Mm. What we have is the electoral pro process. Mm. They want to sow a seed of a, of, 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 of discord. They want to sow a, a seed of. They want people to be afraid of the election. They mm. want a lot of confidence mm. in the electoral process in Nigeria. Mm. That is what APC. APC is afraid that they're going to lose the 2015 election. Mm. And they cannot stand four more years of being out, out of power. Mm. So instead of they are not being in power after 2015 election, they would rather have an uprising, an Arab Spring kind of thing, a revolution in Nigeria. And mm. that is what is dangerous. Mm. That is what the National Executive Committee of the party is speaking against. Now, now, Metu, 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 I, we just spoke to Lai Mohammed, and, and he suggested that your party is working hand in hand with Abga to, to make sure that they stop a, a free and fair election from happening in the states. If, if you are from that state, you're from Anambra state, and looking at the results, yes. are you impressed that that is, that is the way the Anambra people wanted it to be? Or do you think that um, giving them another chance to vote again wouldn't give a better result? W what is your take on that? Well, 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 listen, what I think is not important. Mm. What is important is what the law says. What is important is what the electoral process is. What is important is what is the constitution. Mm. We must, we are, we are slaves to the constitution of Nigeria. Mm. We are slaves to the electoral law, and we are slaves to procedures and processes. It's not a question of sentiment. It's not what we feel. Opinions are, not impo are subjective, mm. and they're not important in this aspect. Mm. What is important is the constitution of this country. Mm. If there is a sense of law and order, there are the anarchy, mm. and this country cannot go ahead. Mm. Uh, uh, Lai Mohammed is my good friend. He's a brilliant fellow. He puts up a lot of statements. Uh, he's a very brilliant argument. He does not agree with anything. Uh, but, but I know he agrees that his name is Lai, not Lai. So uh, I, I think he agrees with that. I'm not too sure. But uh, there's no need to put up a lot of lies and a lot of things just to do propaganda and deceit each time and confuse people. That doesn't make opposition very credible. Mm -hmm. It's not what it means to be a position. Opposition. To oppose the government is to bring alternatives, make suggest a few options that are better than what they are doing. It's for the country to grow. It's not for you to destroy or damage the education of the people. No. I mean, I, I don't think they are doing well as an opposition party. They should do better. They should have a shadow cabinet. They should have a minister of health, a shadow minister of health. They should have people to suggest what we should be in the health, health sector. They should suggest what should be happening in the education sector. They should suggest things that they feel that the president is not doing well, or whatever or, or decision that we are taking. They should say, no, these are alternatives, or these are options. Okay. The country will get richer with it and get better. Yeah. That is what the solution is. It's not telling lies. Mm. No. Now, now Mr. Mr. Metu, the uh, resident returning officer for INEC, Professor Onokogo, uh, was the same officer that was there in 2010 election. And there have been several complaints that um, he, he is not fair to all the candidates. What is your take on his performance in 2010 and this current uh, election? Well, I will tell you uh, my own opinion, not the opinion of the party. Uh, separate Ulisa Metsu from the uh, National Executive Committee in this aspect. Mm. I participated in this election. I participated in the 2010 election. Uh, I want you to ask anybody in Anambra State which, what election was better? I want you to ask anybody in Ananda. You see, let me tell you the truth. The uproar and the, the confusion that I have seen after this election, you, you know, I find it very difficult to reconcile it with what happened on ground. But I don't speak for Africa, who are the beneficiaries of the election for now that are coming first. So I don't need to justify any election. I'm not going to do that. Mm. They should do that. I'm more interested in preserving and protecting the electoral process. Mm. Now, let me ask because I can't... I can't to fight for democracy. Yeah. I can't let you go because we know that PDP had challenges before they finally got their own candidates, uh, the candidate that ran for yes, this indeed. election. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. um, and if this election result stands, PDP will have lost two consecutive elections in Anambra State. What is the future of PDP in Anambra State? Well, I, I'll, I'll rather look at it differently. It is only a party like PDP that can, in less than two weeks, 10 days, 
put up such a credible showing. The faith, the Labour Party candidate who spent a lot of money. The faith, the, the, the APC, that had six months to campaign, that had only one candidate, with all the money that the opposition governor got, uh, gave to the candidates of, the, uh, of their party and what they spent, and the talks and their plans, everything, and the propaganda that they brought in, we, they came third. It is only a party that is on ground. It is only a party that has officers. A party that is in every nook and cranny of the state that could have done that in 10 days. Mm -hmm. I, I think if we had two months to campaign with a candidate, I don't think we'll have a this result. Mm -hmm. we, would have, we, would have, we are the party to pick. We are the preeminent party in Anambra. We are the party in charge in every single ward and local government. And the National Assembly election will show it. It is not about that. It is our internal problems. Uh, the uh, internal contra contradictions affected the result, uh, our, our performance in the election. Mm. For 10 days of campaign, we, we didn't do this badly. Mm. Now, uh, Mr. Metu, before you go, uh, there was a report uh, from London that the president was ill when he went there for a conference, and now we know that he's feeling better. So what, um, what do you know more than what we have in the media about the health of the president? No, 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 I'm not a medical doctor. I don't know about what you, I don't know about that. But all I know is that we wish him well. Mm. All I know is that true Nigerians, responsible Nigerians, respectable Nigerians, people who are committed to, to, to this country, good citizens, wish the president well. It is not easy. He works very hard. Mm. I have seen the kind of trips he's undertaken, he, he, he has undertaken to promote foreign investment in Nigeria, to ensure that people have faith in our economy, in our, in our country, and in our nation. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a very good thing. And it's a great stress mm -hmm. to his own body. No, and no, I, no. I know for sure. Yeah. Let, let, let's say, Rudolph, you should know this. Yeah. Uh, I am crazy, and I know for sure that the president was not feeling very well. He wasn't too strong before he left Nigeria to go to London for that, for, 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 to participate in that conference. Mm. So, because a lot of Nigerians, even even that. those, yeah, even those, a lot of people wish him well, and people know that he has a lot on his desk. For instance, uh, the panel reports on Stella Odoa has not had anything from him, and he hasn't presented the budget in front of the National Assembly. So there are a lot of things that people know that are facing the president. So are you confident that that now that he's healthy enough to tackle some of these problems? And yeah, well, I don't know because if the panel that he set up brings out the result, uh, I mean, the, the whatever result of the panel. Nigerians will start complaining that the House of Reps is already investigating, or that the Senate is investigating, that he should have waited until they finished. So it is a, it, it's working a thin line, actually. It's not easy for you to satisfy everyone. Whatever you take, whatever steps you take, the opposition is in charge of the media. Mm. They will take critical action. So, so are you, no, no, Mr. Metu, are you I saying? I read you, I read you, Sahar Reporter, mm. where you said that the president, president had a lot to drink to celebrate his birthday, and that's why he didn't come out. That, that was very disrespectful to the president. That was very wrong. I, I think I must put it across to you. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't a decent thing to say. I mean, jokes are not what we use to correct impressions is a, a very is a, is a very slightful I, I think for the person of the president of this country the position of this country we should be careful about how we put out such things so mr Mitchell, let me it ask wasn't you a very good thing yeah there was something you said now that is very important are you saying that the president is going to hold off uh issuing um his own uh, whatever his outcome no, of the report I, I is he waiting I for the house of rape to finish or Rudolph, is Rudolph, yeah. i speak for the party i don't speak for the government okay i, I just clarify to you that whatever he does if, it, if, if they bring out the results of the panel you still have people condemning that you should have waited for house of reps mm. i just get an opinion on it i speak for the party Okay. I do not speak for the president, okay. and I do not speak for the for the for the country. Okay. Okay. Finally, oh, finally, government. I fin don't speak for the government. No, okay. I don't. Finally, the the divisions within the PDP. Um, do you think it's going to be resolved? What is why, why is it so difficult to resolve the divisions within the PDP? Well, I think uh, everyone is clinging to his own position. There is a Latin saying, uh, as my father used to say, it, I never got to learn it, how to say it very well. So I won't, I won't, I won't, <laughs> I won't inflict that on you by Latin uh, 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 sense. You see, I, I think uh, when you want 
peace you prepare for war. Mm. PDP is a good party. PDP is a strong party. It's not easy for people to leave party. But everyone is preparing very hard for his own position so that when we sit at the table, we'll be able to resolve all our issues and negotiate. Mm. Each person, each side wants an advantage. That's exactly what is happening. Mm. But at the end of the day, we that are managing the party, we want the constitution of the party to prove we want the proper thing to do. We want people to be more committed to our party. Mm. That's all. And to show it. All right. If we allow people to take our party and bring it to take ridicule and public, uh, 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 to public ridicule and to bring it for people to just hatred, a public hatred and everything, we, we, we will end up losing confidence of our members mm. and we will not have a party that uh, we're managing anymore. All right. Uh, Mr. Olisa Metu, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Very good. Dr. Danny. <laughs> Thank you. That, that's uh, Olisa Metu, the spokesperson for the PDP, uh, talking about Anambra State election and the state of the PDP. When we come back, we are going to continue our show today with discussions on Congo. Uh, we are going to also bring you uh, the situation in Ethiopia where Ethiopians are being uh, mistreated in Saudi Arabia. So stay tuned. <laughs>